back roll to toe side is a nice way to spice up your back roll. They feel great, look good, and can lead you nicely into a toe to heel side transition. The difference between this move and a regular back roll lies mainly in the takeoff. Much more commitment and edging power is required to make the extra rotation. When comparing the two, you can see in the clip to the left that the head and body go together and faster than the clip to the right. At this point, I'll pause so you can see how much further the body has rotated. This opens up the space to land toe side. I find it helps to straighten the back leg which helps to keep the rotation flowing. Another tip for you here is to make sure your hands are together in the centre of the bar. Extra kite movements during this move can really mess things up. Again, I'm going to pause the clip and it's during a crucial point. As you come round to spot your landing, try to guide your back hip into the bar. As for kite position, unless you have the perfect pop, you won't complete the rotation like in this example. The kite was too low. From the drone shot, you can see how I prepare for the move by bringing the kite up before I take off. Think of the back roll to toe side as one movement rather than performing a back roll and then deciding to land toe side. When you've really got this move in the bag, I test you to bring your kite down further, which will raise your G-force landings. Start a new session on your Woo, making sure it's in big air mode. And a good back roll to toe side with the kite at 45 should bring in 2.5s to 3.5s on your landing stats.